Alright, uh, 5.3. What we're going to do, we're going to use the sum or difference identities for sine and cosine to find the exact value of cosine of 735. Um, 735 is awful big, so we're going to drop that down. We're going to subtract 360 from it to get something that's actually on our circle, All right, which is cosine of 375. What we do is we sum and difference mean add and subtract. So we're going to find two angles on our circle that add to give us 375. Um, 360 and 15 won't work, but how about 315 and 60? Well, 315 and 60 add together to give me 375. Well, yes. So what I do is I look at my sum or difference identity, and on your trig sheet, Let's see if I have these already pulled up. On your trig sheet, they're found here in this vicinity. Um, that's going to be cosine, and I'm just going to fill these in here and here. Notice your signs. Notice that when this is plus on the top, it goes with minus here, and if this is minus, it goes with plus. So it's going to be cosine of 315, cosine of 60. This is a plus, so this is going to be a minus. Sine of 315 sine of 60. Um, cosine of 315. Oh, 315 is a 45 degree angle in my fourth quadrant. So that's going to be a positive square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of 60 is 1 half. Sine of 315 is below the x-axis. would be a negative square root of 2 over 2. Sine of 60 is a square root of 3 over 2. Just simplify it a little bit. That'll be the square root of 2 over 4 plus the square root of 6 over 4. So my answer is the square root of 2 plus the square root of 6 over... Um, whoa! Where'd it go? Hold on. Over 4. <laughs> okay. Um, cosine of 5 pi over 12. Hmm, off the top of my head, I don't know what 5 pi over 12 is, um, so I'm going to go ahead and change that to radiant 2 degrees, 5 over 12 times 180, um, 75 degrees. So that's, these are a lot easier to do in, in degrees, cosine of 75 degrees. So I'm going to make that cosine of 30 plus 45 would give me 75, um, so that's going to be cosine of 30 cosine of 45 minus sine of 30, sine of 45. Cosine of 30 is the square root of 3 over 2. Cosine of 45, square root of 2 over 2. Sine of 30, 1 half. Sine of 45, square root of 2 over 2. So that's going to be the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 over 4. Okay, I'm not going to do... I don't feel like I need to do two cosines, two sines, and two of each. It's the same thing over and over again. Um, notice the sines. The plus is on top, so plus goes with plus, minus goes with minus. 255. Oh, gosh. Two things that will add to give us 255 on my circle. Um, let's see. 255 minus 60. Nope, that didn't help. 255 minus 45. 210. I can do 210 and 45. Sine of 210 plus 45. So sine of 210, cosine of 45, minus cosine of 210, sine of 45. Sine of 210, let's see, 210, I don't have the degrees memorized as good as I have the radians. It's going to be here, and it's 30 past 180, so it's a 30 degree angle. It's a pi over 6 in the third quadrant, so that's going to be negative square root of 3 over 2, negative 1 half, 30 degree, yeah. Um, so sine would be negative 1 half, cosine, and I do not have my unit circle in front of me, so if I screw up, um, just fix it. Just know that it's, it's just a careless mistake. Um, cosine of 210, negative square root of 3 over 2, sine of 45, square root of 2 over 2, so that's the negative square root of 2, plus the square root of 6 over 4. You do that one the same way. Um, now let's look at a tan. Tan of 345. Uh, let's see. How about let's do one subtract. Let's do tan of 360. No, I can't do 360 minus 15. That won't work. Um, 300 plus 45. 
would be tan, oh, notice the signs here, plus, minus, plus, minus, minus, plus. So you keep it on top, change it on the bottom. So tan of 300 plus tan of 45 over 1 minus tan of 300, tan of 45. Uh, 300 is here. It's a 60 degree angle in my fourth quadrant, so it's going to be a pi over 3, so it's going to be 1 half and the square root of 3 over 2, and that's positive and negative. So the tan um, here is going to be negative square root of 3. So it's going to be negative square root of 3 plus 1 over 1 minus the negative square root of 3 times 1. So it's going to be the negative square root of 3 plus 1 over 1 plus the square root of 3. Just leave it like that. It's fine. Um, do 75 the same way. I'd probably use 30 and 45. Um, we're skipping that. Okay, these. Uh, I'm going to look at my identities. I'm going to grab my sum and difference. Copy. I'm going to paste them in where I can look at them. Okay, what does this look like? Here. That's sine, cosine, cosine, sine. So sine, cosine, cosine, sine. So it's a sine. Okay. Um, sine, the sines match, plus, plus, so it's going to be plus, it's going to be sine of 22 plus 13, which is the sine of 35. Now, if it's something that is on your unit circle that can be evaluated, go ahead and do it. If it's not, you just leave it as it sits. Um, on your homework, some of them say simplify, that's what it's wanting. If it says evaluate, it wants you to go ahead and pull the angle off the circle. This one's cosine, cosine, sine, sine, so that's going to be a cosine here. It's a plus. Well, cosine flip-flop sines, so it's going to be cosine of pi over 3 minus pi over 4. You can leave it like that. Um, and then C, that's sine, sine, cosine, cosine. Uh, we don't have one of those. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Um, this doesn't look like one of our formulas but it's the exact opposite of this one. So what if I factor out a negative, okay, and flip it around? Minus, it just changes my signs. Now it's a cosine here, and because this is minus, that's gonna be plus, so it's gonna be cosine of x plus two x, negative, so it'll be Golly, why does it go down so far? Um, negative cosine of 3x. And that will actually get you, there's more to this, but that will get you to where you can do all your homework. So that's where I'm going to stop this video.